Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When Apple announced the iPhone, I was very disappointed. I, that, I, that's not really a secret. Everybody knew that I was disappointed. That video is still on YouTube. And one of the reasons I was disappointed is that the first iPhone did not have the ability to record video. I did not have that feature until uh, a while later. And I missed the feature of recording video on the iPhone or my mobile phone of choice because that was always the camera that I had on me. And so when Apple announced just recently the 4S with a high resolution and optical image stabilization with video, I was, I was thrilled. I, 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 was, I, I, was, I was genuinely thrilled. I've recorded some videos for YouTube in the channel when I needed to get close up or far away. And some people have asked, what was the camera you used? They could not believe it was the iPhone that was recording this high quality video, 1080p uh, video. That being said, Apple's default uh, video app or even their camera app, uh, whatever, the, the camera uh, in general, uh, while the hardware is okay, the software leaves a lot to be desired. So uh, when I went out looking for the best video recording app for iOS, specifically uh, the iPhone, uh, I came across Filmic. And uh, you can get this right now. Uh, it's available, I think, for $3. Here, let me, uh, let me check on iTunes. Give me a second, because I, I saw it, and I saw the feature set, and I'm like, oh, I, I have to give this a shot. Yeah, Filmic, specifically Filmic Pro, three bucks. And with it, I'm going to go ahead and, and show you the, uh, the help screen up close, just so you can see the options are, I would say, extremely granular. So with this, I can set focus lock, exposure lock, white balance, independent of one another. And instead of just, you know, the all-in-one, you know, just tap there and then it does everything for you. Sometimes you need more granular control. So there's an example of, of what it might look like uh, with two separate reticles. And then it goes on even further and shows you auto, or I'm sorry, auto, audio metering. And yes, it records in full stereo. So now I can get an idea if the, if the noise is too loud or, of course, if it's, if it's too soft and I need to adjust it in some other uh, way, shape, or form. It also has uh, what they call a slate. So if you wanted to set time codes in your video, you could do that. Or in the set, ah, in the set of videos, as long as you can hold on to your phone, you can do that. It also has color bars. You can enable that. And even deeper than that, uh, you can change the resolution at which your video happens to be recorded, which you can't do in the default camera app on iOS. Oh, no, there's more. You can set bit rate independently. You can set uh, the, uh, the frame rate, too. And that was something that I'd been wanting for so long because when you want to splice two different videos together, if they don't, match frame rates, you need to, well, you need to adjust it in one way, shape, or form. In software, other, other, otherwise, if you throw them together, one will look kind of a jerky and the other one will look smooth because you've got two different frame rates you're trying to mix together in two separate videos when you're doing video editing. Uh, so this is a very, and that's just really the surface of the powerful features that if you record video with uh, your phone, specifically the iPhone, uh, Filmic Pro is probably the one that you want to use uh, for recording the video. And I am not going to stop recording video on the iPhone, even though right now I'm, I'm using a, a dedicated digital video camera. Uh, sorry, Siri, I don't want to talk to you. I just accidentally hit the button. Not like you're listening to me. Or you knew what I was talking about anyway. And even though I have that DSLR now, uh, the Canon uh, EOS T3i, the, the Rebel, uh, I'm still going to uh, be uh, using every camera at my disposal. And if I don't happen to have that DSLR on me or this camera that's broadcasting a live video feed, I'm going to have this and now software that comes in tow. So we're very, very grateful uh, to have become aware uh, of this particular app and, and may have some kind of partnership uh, going on with the people who make this because I have a feeling other people who use the iPhone to record video are probably going to get this app. I wouldn't be shocked. Is it, is it just me? Am I the only one who re likes recording video on the phone when the phone, whatever phone it happens to be, records halfway decent video? I can't be alone. I, I refuse to be alone. I've seen, the iPhone is a very popular video camera. It's not just a phone.